Furthermore, people that can easily excel in AI, number one, people that are naturally talented in mathematics, and number two, people that are naturally talented in prediction. While when it comes to courses that are related to AI, all those who have studied courses that are computer science related, they are relevant to AI. Courses that are related to mathematics are relevant to AI. Courses that are associated to statistics, they are relevant to AI. However, one of the benefits of uh, studying the fourth industrial revolution, the fourth industrial revolution is very flexible. Flexibility of it allows anyone, in respect of your discipline, to join, be passionate, and also excel. The guy who developed Open AI was a dropout from university, Sam Altman. He's a young person, dropout. He was not able to graduate, but today he established Open AI. Mustafa Suleiman, that I earlier mentioned, among the leading young developers of AI globally was a dropout of university. He couldn't graduate. But he developed an AI. It was purchased at the price of over 300 million USD. 300 million USD, but he couldn't graduate. And today, he was appointed as the chief executive officer of Microsoft AI, a company with a market value of over 500 billion USD. Today, he is the CEO. Yet, he failed to graduate. That is why I wrote the book of skills rather than just degrees. I am not undermining your degrees, and I have at least four degrees. And I attended the best universities in the world. I was in Harvard, I was in Oxford, I was in MIT and IDB. I was in the University of Cambridge. I attended all of them with all sense of humility. However, the, what makes our parents to be successful and our elders to be successful at that time degree played a significant role today degree gives you more recognition it makes you more relevant however it is not the only way to success today we are in an era where degree is not enough what employers are looking what you will immediately bring onto the table you are critical thinking and you are complex problem solving. Mustafa Suleiman did not graduate from university. Go and read his biography. He's less than 40 years old. But as we are talking today, he developed AI. It was purchased over 300 million USD. So the era of graduating and carrying your degree and CV to be successful is over. Go and obtain your degree. All my children are in the course of getting their degrees. Two of them are graduates. One of them is a medical doctor. The second one is a computer scientist. And all the remaining, I pray to Almighty Allah to make it possible to acquire at least a degree. But I always tell them, degree is not enough today. Degree is not what? Is not enough today. Secondly, if we want to be successful, we need to change the trend from producing potential employees where our children are only disturbing us applying no we want to start producing potential employers mustafa suleiman is an example less than 40 years of age he developed a company it was purchased over 300 million usd and today appointed as the ceo of microsoft artificial intelligence so this is the trend Degree is not sufficient. It is the foundation, but it's not sufficient. The global market today, what it requires is daily self-improvement. Daily self-improvement. Four, again, you should be very flexible. I studied this course. I couldn't get any opportunity. Let me switch to another course and get a certification. Abunda bayani. As you can see me, I can go to university and teach, and I am still teaching in university. I am operating a private sector company. My teaching in university is voluntarily, I am not being paid. I teach students, I supervise for free. 
I have a private sector company I'm teaching. I will go to Masjid and lead prayer if the need arises. I can open the Quran and do tafsir. I can also teach sunnah. I can serve as a consultant. And I'm a consultant to many companies. I don't have free time. In the sana, I am the type of go to Shabir. Duke in the dance are more legitimate for the Anna Bogawadan. I am a consultant to so many countries, Yanzu. A Arab world of Kaka Saku and Namuso Aiki. If Mukai Aiki, I can get a lecture, Masalati in Cheto. If there is need, I will go there and lecture there. If there is a clash between this and this, I will look at the most appropriate decision to be taken. So you see me here because today I am free. When there is any clash, being invited as a consultant, <laughs> you will continue to postpone your lectures. Before Ramadan, I was in Bahrain. I was invited as a consultant. This is only one example out of many. Last week, I was teaching students in university. One of my PhD candidates presented her seminar, and I joined as a supervisor. I have no problem. In the next few days, one of my team members will travel to another state to serve as consultants to a state government. So degree is important but not enough. We give you advice for free. If you like, take it. If you don't like, leave it. It's not do or die. But I'm very honest in what I tell you. May Allah Ta'ala make all of us to be very successful.